Hey guys, what's up today? We're looking at doing a definite integral from zero to four. The function is x over the square root of one plus two x dx. And we want to evaluate this integral, but it's not really, it's not really super straightforward. We think it might be a u substitution, but uh, what do we do? <laughs> I'm actually just gonna try letting u be this function right here because that's a composition that I see. I see the square root and I see this composition right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let u be that composition. And if I say let u equal 1 plus 2x, I'm going to let u be the inside of that composition. Then my differential du is the derivative times dx. So du is the derivative which is 2 times dx. All right, so I have dx, but I don't have a 2, so actually what I can say is that 1 half du is equal to dx. So I'm going to make that substitution in my integral, but um, so that'll give me 1 over s square root of u times 1 half du but I still have this x term right here. That's not being absorbed into du. It's not being absorbed into my integrand substitution anywhere. So what I'm actually going to have to do is solve this substitution right here explicitly for x. So if I do that, I get u minus 1 over 2 is equal to x. So if I solve that substitution explicitly for x, then I'm going to substitute u minus 1 over 2 in for x. So I'm actually going to have u minus 1 over 2 right there in the numerator. So that's basically my x. This is my 1 over square root term. Here's my dx. So now I've got my substitution all set up for my integral. Now all I have left to do is change the bound. So I'll say if x equals 4, if x is equal to 4, then u what happens to u? u is equal to 1 plus 2 times 4. So 1 plus 2 times 4, which is 1 plus 8, and that's 9. And if x equals my lower bound of 0, then u is equal to 1 plus 0, which is 1. So my integral should be integral from 1 to 9 u minus 1 over 2, 1 over square root of u, and then 1 half du. So I did a u substitution, but I had to um, use it for all it was worth. I changed my dx to du. I changed my square root of 1 plus 2x to square root of u, but I also had to change x to be u minus 1 over 2. So now we just got an integral, a definite integral, I'm going to factor out the one-halves and make it one-fourth out front, integral from 1 to 9. And then I'm going to rewrite it as u minus 1 times u to the negative one-half du. So distribute that. So we get 1 over 4, integral from 1 to 9. That's going to be u to the one-half minus u to the negative one-half du. So now I just have to use the power law on both of these terms. So this is going to be 1 over 4 times, let's see, 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves, so this is going to be 2 thirds u to the 3 halves minus 1 plus negative 1 half is 1 half, so that's going to be 2 u to the 1 half from 1 to 9. And that equals 1 over 4 times 2 thirds. 9 to the 3 halves is really 3 cubed, right? So take the square root of 9 by the 1 half. So then you get 3. Raise that to the third power so you get 3 cubed. Minus 1 to anything is just 1. Okay, and then minus 2 times square root of 9, which is 3 minus square root of 1, which is 1. 
All right, so at the end of the day, this is actually just going to simplify um, arithmetic all the way down to 10 over 3. And that's the final answer. But really, the, the meat of this example is doing this substitution right here. So having to solve your substitution back in terms of x equals function of u so that you can plug that in right here for x. So that's kind of the meat of the problem or the example. That's really what we're trying to showcase in this one. But yeah, that's the idea.